I'm Kim Mayer. Um, I am a volunteer with the Red, uh, Red Cross at the Cincinnati chapter and from the Butler County area, so I live, I live in Westchester. I was stationed at uh, Bethesda at the time and uh, I knew some people that were volunteers, so I, I went in and, and uh, liked what I saw, so I uh, did some disaster services and uh, also uh, since I was in the military, I felt that uh, that was something close to me. So I uh, volunteered for the services to military families, and uh, which involved um, getting calls from families with emergencies, uh, with family members, and having to um, verify that emergency, and then providing a message to the command of their service member to be able to get them home um, during that time of, of need. I was uh, deployed to uh, Gitmo, which is Guantanamo, Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, uh, in 78. Uh, at that time I was a hospital corpsman, so I was deployed and stationed at the hospital mm -hmm. in Cuba to, uh, to work there. I did uh, several things. I worked uh, in x-ray, uh, I worked in the um, sick hall, uh, the immunization clinic, just different areas. I was an aide to the CEO of the hospital for a while. Probably about six to seven months into my deployment I found out uh, that my father had uh, had cancer and uh, at the time we weren't quite sure how serious it was. Having been on the other receiving end of, of making the calls for other people not realizing I'd ever need it for myself I, I turned to the Red Cross um, and they were able to you know, speak with a doctor, get verification uh, of my father's condition. And um, with that information, uh, my command was able to send me home early from my deployment. Also, get me close to home so I could spend whatever time he had left um, because it was very serious at that time. Several months after I got home, um, I found out I was pregnant with his first grandchild. Um, it upset him greatly because he didn't think he'd be around to see him. Um, but fortunately, uh, when uh, my son was born, he was only three weeks old, uh, I was able to take him to my father and my father held him and he's named after my father. Um, and held him in his arm, knew him, knew I was safe. And I, I think and the doctors fully believe that um, he hung on long enough to make sure we were okay. Because right after that, he just went downhill and he, and he passed on. But he, um, he waited. He waited for us to come home and um, got to hold his grandson. Oh, I was very relieved that I was able to do that and that you know the Red Cross was there to help me as I've helped others and uh, that they were um, they were amazing I mean they they were able to get the information fast they you know got it to my command fast and and everything moved quickly from that point on and it was just it just felt good that, that I received the same kind of service that I hope I provided other people and uh, they were there for me. I'd, I'd definitely say if you have an emergency, you know, um, and you need your service member home uh, to contact the Red Cross. Um, they can, you know, take care of that and get the information to their uh, commands and help them during that time. Um, they can verify the information, command, the commands respect the Red Cross, they know what they do and what they can provide, uh, and that, you know, it's the first thing they need to do is if they need a service member home, you know, in an emergency to, to contact the Red Cross and let them help them. Now I want to tell the Red Cross thank you for helping me get home and helping me be with my father for the last, last days he had.